In the last lesson, we set up a Google site for your portfolio, of your portfolio of work. So each of your subjects can have a page in your portfolio, and then you can put all your learning in one place. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna look at how you can make your opening page a little bit more spectacular. Because at the moment, it's just a bunch of text. We want it to look a little bit more exciting. So your teacher would have set up your Google Classroom, and in your Google Classroom, you should have a document that says the 10 IT essential skills all students must ha should have. So let's open this. You can either click on it or click open. Let's click open. And then you need to click on this document here. Okay, so this is Google Drawing. Now, this has been created automatically via Google Classroom, but if you're not using Google Classroom, then you can simply go into your Google Drive, create new, and then go to more and choose a new drawing, and then create your drawing from there. The advantage of using Google Classroom is now my document has been named correctly, and I don't have to name it as a student, and then also my teacher can have a list of everything that is there in my Google Classroom. So what we want to do now, we want to create an infographic based on these 10 criteria. Now, I'm only gonna use these words here because we're gonna come on to the description later in another application. So, let's insert an image. Now, I'm going to search Google Drive and I'm going to search for digital. Now, the images that I'm finding here are, we are able to use because it says the results are labeled for commercial reuse with modifications. So everything I find here is able to, we're able to use. So I'm gonna use one of these pictures here. So I'm gonna click on this one and then select. There we go, we have a nice image there as a basis for our infographic. But at the moment this is a bit too bold. So I'm going to go down to, I can right click, I can go to image options and I'm gonna just change the transparency and reduce the transparency a little bit so it doesn't stand out quite as much. If I wanted to change brightness and contrast, I can do that as well. So let's close that now. And now let's start adding our information. Okay, so let's click on text box and I'm gonna put a text box in here. And the first option is image search, internet search. Let's put that in. And let's change these around. We can change the fonts. We can change the style to however we want it. I'm gonna change the color of that as well to a nice yellow. And let's just spin it around just a little bit. Okay, internet search. And then what you want to do is you wanna go through and put all the other items from that list in there. I'm gonna do this very quickly now. Now there is my infographic. It's not the greatest infographic in the world, but it gives you the idea of what I want you to do. So I want you to create something much better than what I've done, but to give you some idea, this is a good example. So now what I want to do, I want to export that. I could, if I want to, from this point, put it straight into my Google site. So let me show you how to do that first. I'm gonna load the editor, and at the bottom here, I'm going to insert Google Drive, Drawing. And this is the drawing I want to add, and then we can select. I'm not gonna put a border on, no title, and let's save that, and let's put it in the middle, okay? When I save that, now I've got my Google Drawing inserted into my Google site. But I wanna go one step further. I want this to be interactive. I want all the other information on this web page to display on this page. So we're gonna use something called ThinkLink. And we're gonna look at ThinkLink in the next lesson.